Hello there. So up until this point, um, we have created a server and successfully uh, put the template on the server in different ways. And we also uh, configured our server permissions a little bit to make it correct, make it safer. So now in this video, um, I'm going to start uh, editing the the, uh, the website itself. So uh, when I, if you, this is uh, my IP address right now. So Obviously, um, this is going to be my personal website, so this should not say uh, start bootstrap, it should say my name, which is Wilson Wang. Uh, this up here also shouldn't say that. Um, this needs to be changed. Um, this uh, needs to be download resume instead of download theme. And then these all need to be changed. So how are we going to do that? Uh, well. So let's uh, log into the server first. So make this bigger. Log into the server. And basically the way I'm going to go about this is, if you remember in uh, part one, I introduced the control S command in Emacs, which is basically a search function. So when you control S and then type something in, Emacs will search the file for that. Uh, basically, I'm going to use that to make the changes. So let me go to the var subservio slash HTML directory. And so let's edit the index.html file. And once again, the index.html file is where all this stuff is. So this is everything, everything you see on this website is contained in this file right here. So all I need to do is figure out what to change in this file. So first of all, I'm going to change uh, this, these two start bootstraps and put my name there instead. So the way we do that is we're in Emacs right now, so we're going to do uh, we're going to do Control S, and then we're going to do search for start bootstrap bootstrap. So you notice that uh, there's one. You see it's highlighted in purple, that means that's the entry. If you press Control S again, it'll jump to the next uh, entry and it'll keep going until it runs out. And you'll hear, you'll know when it runs out because you'll hear it. So let's see how many of these there are. All right, so for now, I'm just going to change this one right here that's highlighted. So let me change that one. I'm going to say uh, Wilson Wang. And then I'm going to change search again. So I'm going to change this one as well. Uh, all right, so now after I save by doing control XS, then I reload the page. And you notice that it's changed to my name. So now that I've changed that, what else do I need to change? Uh, well, let's see. This stuff looks pretty good. Uh, web developer, graphic artist, UX designer, it's fine. Okay, so let's go to the portfolio. So the portfolio, um, let's look at this. So basically, when you click on these icons, there will be a pop-up. And in the pop-up, there's going to be a picture and a description. So, uh, so I'm not going to change the pictures right now. I'm going to do them later. Uh, I'm also not going to change the text. So basically, I'm going to leave this portfolio section uh, till later. Um, so let's let's uh, let's jump down to about. So we need to change this into a, a description about yourself. So for me, I would talk about myself. So let's uh, go to Emacs and change that. So right now, let's search for freelancer as a free bootstrap theme. So freelancer is a free so right here so I'm gonna change this um, so I'm going to get rid of all this stuff and also there is actually a uh, an easy way to uh, delete text in Emacs so the way you do that is you press control, you press control space, then you move the uh, cursor using the arrow keys to the last place you want to delete, and then once everything is highlighted, you press control W, and it'll delete everything. 
So I'm gonna I'm gonna change this to my name is Wilson Wang. I am a aspiring uh, web developer, and I love traveling. I also uh, like teaching courses on Udemy. All right, and then we're also going to change this one. So, whether you're a student looking to showcase your work, that's we need to change that. So again, Control Space, go down, use the arrow keys to move to the uh, to select what you want to delete, and then Control W to delete it. So. Uh, I go to school at the University of Chicago. I like fried chicken. And Harold's is the best place to get fried chicken. And it is, so don't, don't question that. All right, so we have changed this, so we're going to save again. Uh, save is Control XS and then Control X. All right, sorry. So after we save, we're going to Go here, reload the page, and you notice that this has changed. All right, um, and then uh, I'm also going to change. Uh, I'm also going to change this one and this one right here. So let's do that. Uh, so let's search for let's search for location. So Control S location. So I'm going to change this to. Um, let's see. All right, it should still be location, but this is not the right location. So let's uh, south side, and then Chicago, so that's my new location, and then I'm going to uh, I'm also going to uh, change this right here, change the description of about freelancer. So I'm gonna say, uh, let's do this. So let's uh, delete this and then say, um, So I'm going to say uh, I used this theme to create this website. Go to startbootstrap.com for this theme. And then when I save and exit and then I reload, notice that this has changed. And then finally, I'm going to change a copyright. So I'm going to put my name here instead of your website. So let's go and do that. So I'm going to search your website. And I'm just going to say Wilson Wang 2015. So let's see if that works. And it does work. So there you go. So uh, now um, let's. So, uh, so basically, in this video, we changed the easy things. So we changed the name. Uh, we changed the about, we changed the location, we changed the uh, freelancer, and then we changed the copyright. So to summarize, uh, the important thing about this is, and it goes back to the purpose of this course, the point of this course is not to teach web development. Um, it's for you to try and get your website out as quickly as possible. So when we edit these templates, um, I'm not going to be explaining each little thing. I'm not going to even explain what all this HTML does. So the uh, method that you want to use is substitution. So like as you see from uh, this video, um, the way I think change these things is I look at the text which I want to change and then I go in Emacs and I control S and I search that piece of text and I just substitute it. I don't mess with anything else. So that is the quickest way to do stuff. Um, you don't necessarily have to understand everything that's going on in this file for you to modify your website. All you need to do is figure out what text you want to change, go to that text, 
delete it and then replace it with the text that you want. And that shouldn't screw up the website. Everything should still work. So that's the philosophy that we're using right here. And as you can see, we can make changes to our website very, very, very quickly. So, right. So in the next video, I'm going to be making some uh, more difficult changes. Uh, precisely, I'm going to be changing these icons, the links that these icons go to. So uh, stay tuned.